Hey, my Shana Boos. How are y'all doing today? All right, so tonight we got a nice cooking video coming at you. Just throwing it at you. And I actually got a nice surprise um, for later. I'm actually baking something so dope. I cannot wait to like for you guys to see what I'm going to be making. But yeah, I'm, um, first we're going to start off with dinner, which is going to be burgers and french fries. That's what I feel like cooking today. Something nice and simple and easy. And then, yeah, the, as I said, what we're baking will be different. Um, so it won't be the burgers and fries. It'll be something else. But, yes, yeah, so let's get this started, honey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. All right, guys. So first and foremost, wash your hands. Soap and water. Get them washed. Wash my hands. I did what I had to do. Next, we're going to season the ground beef. This is the ground beef. I let it, um, what's the word? I let it unthaw. I let it thaw out. It's, I mean, yeah. I think that's what it's called. When it gets soft, basically. So I let it do that. Now we're going to season. And then we're going to make burgers out of the ground beef. Oh my god, so fun. <laughs> actually gonna add more on as I cook as well but I just like this to marinate in the meat so the double is in there sorry this kind of looks gross probably to you and I just sprinkle one more dashy dash Oop, there you go you can use any type of seasoning salt that you want but me personally I just like adobo now you want to take a big ball of it just like that sorry if that looks nasty again <laughs> but Take a big ball of it, and then you make it into a burger. Oh my God. You guys, I'm so slow. I forgot to put the daggone stove on. So I'm so smart, let me tell you. So we want that to get hot. That's actually like a George Foreman grill right here. So it basically um, works as a grill. We want that to get nice and hot. I cleaned it off, that's why it's wet right there, because I cleaned it off. But for now, what I'm gonna do is just make the burger shapes. Some people put eggs in it. You can do that if you want. I don't wanna do that shit. I just do the burgers natural. And then, as I said, I do add more seasoning. I do add more adobo as I, um, you know, as I cook it. So, yeah, that's one patty. I don't know if you guys can see. That's one patty. I'm going to sit it right there. Then we're going to do another. That might be too big. I might make that a little smaller. I'm using small bread. to get it like cute and shit you know it's like an art job like you want to make it the best type of shape that you could you know make it look cute and then my third one because bachi eats two burgers and i eat one <laughs> who's the fatty now who's the fatty now your fat ass your fat ass <laughs> chew with your fat ass boy <laughs> oh i'm so dumb uh, sorry y'all my family we, we be stupid we do shit like that let Ricky will laugh at that part. He's probably, ooh, a little fat ass boy. If I'm watching this drooling, nigga. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, so I'm doing three burgers. And you hear it sizzling, too, which shows that it's getting hot. So it's working at it. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. And, yeah. So this is how they look, guys. Three burgers that I'm making. And I'm going to do cheese on them. Me and Bachi did this buffalo cheese one time. Okay, well, we went to somebody's house and they had it, this buffalo cheese. We have not been able to find it, which is so sad. <laughs> but they did a buffalo cheese and it was so lit. It was so good. Gotta wash my hands. I feel really gross. But it was so good. Oh my God. On top of the burgers, it's like, it tastes like heaven. But let me wash my hands. All right, guys. Sorry about that brief intermission. Had to get my stuff situated. Also, what we're having is fries to go with that burgers because, you know, we gotta have fries to go with it, obviously. So I have over here, if you come closer, I have the oil on right here. So that's currently on. And then again, here's our beautiful burgers, guys. My pot right here is nice and hot, so we're ready to put them on. And once you hit, put them on, it should be like, when you're cooking on a grill, you should hear it. Get ready, also. 
per Bachi's request, I'm gonna do waffle fries. I also have curly fries up in there, but I'm gonna do waffle fries, that's his request. So, we'll wait for this oil to get a little hot. Sorry y'all, my stove smokes sometimes. Because I, the pot was wet at the bottom, so I didn't clean it all, clean it good enough. So, so the smoking's gonna go down. But anyways, this is really, really hot, so we're ready to add the burgers in. So let's get that going right now. I'm actually gonna just pick it up. Again, hands clean. Do you hear that sizzle? Do you hear that sizzle? Do you mother freaking hear that sizzle? So they cook, let them cook. What I like to do, I actually learned this, learned this on a cooking show, is you can take your finger or you take a spoon. I'm just gonna do a spoon to make it look a little bit more better. Make it look more natural. Um, Take a spoon or a fork, the end of it right here. You just wanna put a hole right here in the middle. Put a hole right in the middle. And put a hole right here in the middle. I learned it from a cooking show that it helps it cook really good in there. And you know. And then I like to clean these out right away once I use them, once I season, once I use them because just back in the day, you know how like when your parents used to season um, the meat and then you want some cereal, you want to eat out of that bowl and the bowl smell like seasoning still. So when I season in my um, these bowls, I clean it out right away just so it doesn't have the seasoning smell to it. And yeah, so again, I'm sorry y'all. Actually, no, it needs to cook a little bit. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna clean this out really, really fast. All right, baby, so what I'm about to do is I'm about to flip them over just because, um, you know, we want it done, but we want to make sure they cook good, you know, and not burnt. So get underneath there, flip that baby. getting hot what I was taught to do is put some water on your hand and then go like that if it makes that sound then that means that it's ready if it doesn't do nothing it ain't ready I know it's not ready because I just put the oil on still it's hot but it's not ready these are the fries that I um, decided to do they were actually on sale to tell y'all the truth there's so many different waffle fries so many different fries you can choose but these were on sale so I'm like all right I'm gonna just do these fries but you guys I cannot wait for you guys to see what I'm baking after this part make sure you stay tuned do not click off this video and while you're waiting while we're waiting for everything to get done like comment subscribe i want you guys to comment send me um where i can find that buffalo cheese i was telling you about, you guys about because i'm just trying to find it and i can't find it me and Bob can't find it anywhere so if any of you guys know what buffalo cheese i'm talking about please comment below let me know what store i can find it in remember i'm in massachusetts so there's no Publix out here we got stop the shop shards all that stuff so any delis anything that y'all know of you know that's maybe popular in different states let me know but i want to find that buffalo cheese that shit was so bomb so good but yeah how many of you guys are excited to see what's bacon like what we got going on uh -huh. i'm excited but yes we're waiting for the burgers guys so i'll see y'all once they get a little bit more done burgers are done i just put the cheese on it and I let the um, steam and the hot melt the cheese on its own instead of doing it on a pot because it's just going to be a disaster and horrible to clean after. So the cheese basically melt itself while it's on the burgers. But over here, back to the fries. Got them cooking in the, the grease. Getting nice and, you know, cooked and whatnot. And then, yeah. So, um... Yeah, so we're just waiting pretty much. And we'll see what Shauna got bacon. All right, y'all. Sat on these fries, man. Sat on these fries. Not too much, not too little. That probably about that much. McDonald's probably add more, but all right, McDonald's. All right, guys. And then there is the burgers. There you have it. 
burgers, fries for dinner. Oh yeah, you guys, hold on. We're gonna show you everything, every detail. Then we got the buns going on too. So this is the buns to go with the to go with the burgers that we're gonna be eating them with. What do you guys like to put on your burgers? I like ketchup and mayo now. A little different. Let me clean up my mess, you guys. I know I got y'all like the suspense is killing you when I'm baking, huh? Oh, the suspense is killing you. But no worries. We're about to find out right now. As I promised, I will reveal what I'm baking. What I got baking. <laughs> this is my very, very first time ever baking something like this. Never, ever did it before. Very excited to share this with you guys. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go, guys. 